Hello everyone and welcome to your 32nd um, C++ tutorial in my, seri in my series of C++ tutorials. Well, if you have watched every single one of my C++ tutorials so far, you'll find this tutorial a piece of cake as we're going to uh, learn about something called the logical AND operator today. So um, you're just going to create a new source file and enter the basic information that we do in every one of my tutorials and uh, yep that's just some info for the new guys that just you know might felt like popping by and um, now we're going to have a um, in variable called x we're going to set it equal to 10 and uh, we're going to have a, a boolean or a bool called y we're going to set it equal to uh, true to the beginning now we create a if statement if if um, x equals to 10 and two of these uh, and modifiers y so uh, well there's not really much much to explain here if you haven't already figured it out I'm going to tell you right now well we say that if x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 2 so we say that uh, x has to be 10 and y has to be true for this action to happen and the action we're going to do is to type c out both terms are correct so uh, well if you just try and hit F9 right now to compile and run and to save this file as um, and underscore operator then you're going to see that we give, get a basic output saying both terms are correct and uh, well <clears throat> as I was saying that's not really hard to understand because you know we say if x is equal to 10 and y is equal to true at the same time then print out both terms are correct and that's true so now what if you change one of the terms uh, then uh, if you try and change uh, this bool y set its value to false and now hitting f9 again you'll see that it says nothing and uh, well that's because we didn't handle a case saying that if this term is not true then do something but we're going to do that not right now so now we just type else see out both or one of the terms is not true And now you just hit F9, and now you'll see it says both or one of the terms is not true. And that's because that again, we say that if x is equal to 10, while uh, y is also being equal to 2, then type both terms are correct. And uh, if one of if uh, one of these terms is not true, then print out both or one of the terms is not true. And that is exactly what it does, so uh, hey, that's a good thing. So, well, that was your real quick tutorial on um, logical AND operators, and I'm so, so sorry I didn't teach you about it in um, one of my previous tutorials, you know. Really, um, it should have done, it go like this. In my if statement tutorial, I should have teach you about if statements, logical um, OR operators, and logical AND operators. Instead, it got like this. I told you about if statements one tutorial and then I realized oh shit I forgot to teach you about logical or really so I'm going to do that and then now a uh, lot of time afterwards I realized and I, that I haven't teach you about logical or, or and operators too so that's what I'm doing right now so um one uh, tutorial quickly turned into free so uh, well that was just uh, that I wanted to um, tell you so I'll see you in my next tutorial